Arbid, a Kyrie's Reunis de Burbachike du Delon, was a major Luxembourg-based steel and iron producing company. Created in 1911 after the merger of three steel producing companies, Arbit had a significant role in the economy of the Grand Duchy until it merged in 2002 with two other European steel companies to create Arcelor. Origins, 1882-1911, the discovery of iron ore in Luxembourg in the 1850s and the introduction of metal ergy in 1876 led to the development of an important national steel industry especially in the south of the country, and provided Luxembourg with sustained economic growth during the second half of the 19th century. This economic growth was greatly boosted during the two decades preceding World War I when large integrated steel works, able to convert cast iron into steel and rolled steel, were constructed. Steel production surged from 145 313 tons in 1900 to 1 115 004 tons in 1913, and steel making accounted for around 60% of total industrial employment in Luxembourg before World War I. The close economic relationship between Luxembourg and its neighbors, especially Germany, enabled investors to develop cross-border projects. As early as 1856, Luxembourg industrialists and members of parliament founded the Saarbrücker Eisenhutten Selskaft, Societe in Participation des Forges de Saarbrück, Saarbrücken Shareholding Company. Similarly, German industrialists invested funds in the development of Luxembourg steel companies. South Luxembourg's important economic development due to steel production led to the creation of several steel producing companies. In 1882, the Societe Anonyme des Hauts set Forges de Dudelon, High Furnace and Forging Mills of Dudelon Shareholding Company was founded by the Société in Commandite de Forges Dyke, La Gala, Mid C, founded in 1838, and the main shareholders of the Saarbrücken Shareholding Company. As steel production increased exponentially, it soon became necessary to merge companies. In 1911, at an extraordinary general corporate meeting of the Societe Anonyme des Hauts Fornks at Forges de Dudelon, decision was taken to incorporate the Societe Anonyme des Mines du Luxembourg at Forges de Arebruck and the Societe en Commandite des Forges Dyke, La Gala, Mits et C. into the Dudelon Company. The new shareholding company, merging the three largest local steel companies, was named Arbid S.A., the acronym for Achiris Reunis de Burbachike du Delon, Societe Anonyme. Growth and Development of Arbid, 1911-1945 At its founding, Arbid operated 21 blast furnaces, 3 electric furnaces, 2 steel-making plants and several rolling mills, in 1912. Raw steel production from the Arbid works reached 824-500 tons. Although steel production almost halted during World War I, the following decades proved to be very successful. In order to further develop, Arbid took an international dimension and acquired and absorbed several companies in Belgium and Germany in the 1920s. At the end of World War I, German capital was withdrawn, and steelworks were taken over by groups with Franco-Belgian Luxembourg capital. Two companies, Société Metal Ergique des Terres Rouges and Société Minière des Terres Rouges, were specifically created by Arbid and other French and Belgian companies for the purpose of acquiring plants and mines west of the Rhine which had to be sold by Germany as a consequence of the Treaty of Versailles. Arbid, already a major regional steel producer, further developed its international reach by establishing with the Societe Metal Ergique des Terres Rouges Company a joint sales company called Colliumita in 1920, 
and a joint shipping company called Transif in 1922. In order to develop its international reach, an Arbit offshoot called Compania Side Air Urgica Belgo Minera was established in Brazil in 1921. As Arbit's growth continued, Arbid and Societe Metal Ergique de Terres Rouges finally merged in 1937. World War II severely affected steel production, and many steel mills were either destroyed or heavily damaged. Luxembourg had been officially absorbed into Germany, and Arbid was temporarily renamed Hutton Work Burbachik du Delanen, Burbachik du Delan Metallurgical Plants. Latrenti Glorises 1946 to 1974 During the 3 decades following the end of World War II, Arbit played a key role in the development of the Luxembourg economy. During this period, called Latrenti Glorises, the 30 glorious national raw steel production rose from 2.45 million tons in 1950 to 6.45 million tons in 1974 and Luxembourg reached an exceptional annual growth rate of 6.7% between 1946 and 1951, then a good average of 3.9% until 1975. During the first half of the 1970s, the steel industry represented close to 30% of the total sum of added value in the national Luxembourg economy and more than half the total added value of industry. By 1974, Luxembourg steelworks and iron mines provided work for around 25,000 employees in 1974, 16% of the total national. During these three decades, Arbid not only developed its local plants but also increased the diversification of its activities. In 1962, Arbid became a partner in the creation of the Maritime Sidmer Complex in Belgium, and later obtained a majority stake in the new company. In 1974, Arbid created Trefelerbd, as part of the extension of wire drawing activities, and Simarco, created through the mining company Symmetry to develop iron ore resources in Brazil. A powerful regional the European economic actor, Arbit gradually became a global actor through the magnitude of its operations. World Economic Crisis and Restructuring, 1975-2002, The 1973 Oil Crisis and its global repercussions had a dramatic impact on Luxembourg and on Arbit in particular as it coincided with worldwide global steel overproduction. Despite Arbid's international sales network's restructuring in 1976, Galliumita was renamed Trade Arbid, and the establishment of Trefilurb Korea in 1978, by 1983, steel production had slumped back to 1,955 levels, 3.2 million tons, compared with 6.45 million tons in 1974. By 1985, the steel industry employed only half of its 1,970 for level workforce. In 1978 Arbid becomes a 25% shareholder in Metal Energy Ket Minier de Ardangethis, MMRA. Mining and hot steel production is shut down and in 1994 MMRA merges with Arbidesh Siflan to form Akiris Rodangesh Siflan, Aries, a subsidiary of Profolerbd. From 1982 to 1983, the Luxembourg steel industry was restructured and the Luxembourg government invested heavily in Arbid finally owning 42.9% of the company's shares. Furthermore, during the following two decades, Arbid developed its international activities as well as its production of long steel products, steel bars and rods produced for a variety of uses such as building and bridge construction, 
and electric arc furnace steel while reducing its domestic steel producing operations. Certain key events in the economic expansion of Arbit occurred in the 1990s. In 1990, Arbit jointly acquired Yates, a U.S. company specializing in the production of copper foil, with Japanese group Furukawa Electric. The following year, the Luxembourg company found a Trefiller Darkensaw, USA, a steel cord plant in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. In 1992, it founded Long Steel Products Company's Tailwork Thuringen in Germany. In 1993, Arbid founded Profilerbd, a subsidiary company specialized in the production of Long Steel Products and Arbid Americas a subsidiary of Trade Erbd, in 1994, to manage all United States commercial activities. Arbid also expanded by taking over other companies. In 1995, it obtained the majority of shares of German Klockner Stahl, now Stahlwerk Bremen, and, in 1997, it developed a strategic partnership with Spanish steel company Aceralia formerly CSI. However, during this period of geographic expansion and division of sectors, their remaining Luxembourg blast furnaces gradually stopped operating, the last one, in Belleville, definitely halting its operations in 1997. Arcelor and ArcelorMittal, 2002 Onwards main article, ArcelorMittal Despite the end of its Luxembourg steel production, Arbid remained a global economic actor. Its diversification and development of its international scope enabled Arbid to remain competitive. In 2002, Arbid and two other European steel producing and manufacturing companies, Spanish strategic partner Aceralia and French Usener, merged into Arcelor a steel industry giant with a 96,000 strong workforce spread throughout 60 different countries. In 2006 Middle Steel launched a takeover for Arcelor that led to the creation of Arcelor Middle, the world's largest steel company.